Next up. Guns. Guns at the Republican National Convention this summer. Uh, after a national outcry, or rather, after a rare combination of national worry and national laughter, <laughs> the city of Tampa, Florida, has decided that uh, not just squirt guns, not just sticks, but also real guns, loaded weapons, will be banned from the Republican National Convention this summer. Tampa has realized it's a little weird uh, to not ban something that might be used as a weapon, um, uh, but but to, to ban not ban actual weapons, right? And they have decided to ban loaded firearms from the Republican Convention. Is that true or is that false? True. The mayor of the city of Tampa, himself a holder of a concealed gun permit, um, has written to the governor of Florida and asked for a temporary override of the Florida state laws uh, so that you can so that Tampa would be allowed to ban the carrying of guns in downtown Tampa during the convention. Uh, that happened. That is true. But then the governor of Florida looked at the request and said no. Quoting Governor Rick Scott of Florida, he said, Like you, I share the concern that violent anti-government protests or other civil unrest can pose dangers, but it is unclear how disarming law-abiding citizens would better protect them from the dangers and threats posed by those who would flout the law. It is at just such times that the constitutional right to self-defense is most precious and must be protected from government overreach. So yes, it is true that city government in Tampa asked if they could please ban guns in downtown Tampa during the convention. Uh, Governor Rick Scott said no. So all you people who might have an interest in protesting at the Republican National Convention, you can feel safer now knowing that there might be guns all around you that you cannot see and that the police don't know are there. Feel better?